Hey guys, Mr. Lively here. All right, so zip grade. So some of you either got either you got this in class. I gave you this right here in class, okay? Or I sent it to you. You're a, a virtual student, and I sent it to you in an email, okay? So you have this here. So you have your. It should say your name right there. This is the demo student, demo Mustang, zip grade student ID number, and then the student access code, all right? Then it tells you, the ZipGrade student portal allows your teacher to schedule quizzes and post results to a secure location. Do not share your credentials with other students. To access the student portal from any web browser, go to either zipgrade.com slash s or zipgrade.com slash student. Enter the credentials shown above into the form labeled Login to Student Portal. So what does that look like? All right. This is what the Student Portal looks like. And again, you can see right here that I went to zipgrade.com. Okay. Went to zipgrade.com slash S, and I got to right here. You can type in student right there. And it takes you to this site here. Okay. Now then, guys, this is the part. This part right here is what you're concerned with. Log in to student portal. You do not have to worry about access open submit quiz. You do not have to worry about that. You're worried about this part here. Okay. So here it says zip grade student ID. So look at your piece of paper. Your zip grade student ID is right there. You take that number and you copy it into here or you type it into there. All right. Then you take your student access code. And guys, here's the tricky part. The student access code is case sensitive. So this is the letter L, a lowercase q, and then 34754. This L has to be capitalized or uppercase. This Q has to be lowercase. And then my number. And then you click, click log in. All right. So this is what your screen should look like. It's going to look very similar to this. Yours is going to be a little bit, mine's a little bit different than yours, simply because I have all the classes in here because I've had to demonstrate this to each class. So it should say for this exercise here, it's saying proof of access, and it tells you which class it is for. Proof of access is the name of the quiz. The class period is here. All right, here is when it starts. It started this morning at 9 a.m. This tells you when it ends. It ends tomorrow at, well, one of them ends tomorrow at 10 a.m., all right? And then it tells you that you have five minutes in order to fix it or finish it. So then you click right here where it says begin quiz. It tells you that this is the student portal. It gives your name, student ID. And it says quiz, proof of access. And it tells you you will have five minutes to complete this quiz once started. If you encounter any connectivity issues, may log in to the student portal to continue your quiz. At the end of the time limit, your answer sheet and any answers made at that time will automatically be submitted to your teacher. Additional instructions from the teacher. Answer these two questions so that I know you can access the test on Wednesday. Begin quiz now. You click there. So again, this is just two questions to show you how to do it. Up here, it says zip grade test. First question. One, I know my student code for zip grade. True or false? If it's true, you click A for true. 
or B for false, okay? Well, we're going to say A because you know it because I gave it to you on that piece of paper. Next, my Georgia studies teacher is Mrs. Smith. Is Mrs. Smith, is that your Georgia studies teacher? Miss Evans, Mr. Decker, or Mr. Lively? You better say Mr. Lively. That's my name. I only come on here every week and make you a video and talk to you and send you emails and everything. Now then, once you finish that, you're going to scroll down. There's only two questions, guys. Only two questions. Here at the bottom it says question page one of one. So there's only one page of questions. It tells you that, and there's only two questions. You're going to scroll down. There's no need to do anything else to those empty boxes. You're going to get to this green button where it says review and submit to teacher. Review and submit to teacher. Once you get there... You are going to click it. You're not finished. This is just a review. Your answer sheet has not been submitted yet. Please review your responses below and press submit to teacher. Your teacher cannot view responses until they are submitted with the button at the bottom of this page. What this is for, guys, is because on the test, there's going to be 46 questions. So this is to help you make sure that you've went through and you've answered all the questions. If you go through here and you see a blank space, like if you're supposed to answer 35 and there's no answer for 35, it'll, be, it'll show it to you. Submit to teacher. Once you click submit to teacher, that's it. There's no turning back. Okay. So this gives you a confirmation code, tells when it's was submitted, online quiz code, all that, so that I get it. If you had any problems, send me an email. Okay? Tells you your score. 100% correct. Okay? This right here just shows what I see. Okay? I'm seeing that you got this correct and you got that correct. And that's it, guys. You just click Return to Student Portal and you're finished.